Now to our health segment, cancer is a non-communicable disease where cells divide and grow uncontrollably, forming malignant tumors which may invade nearby parts of the body. There are over 200 different known cancers that affect humans and though they manifest similarly in some ways, they differ by the way they are contracted. On our health feature today, we look into liver cancer. Miriam, can you go with the report? Primary liver cancer is the fifth most frequently diagnosed cancer globally and the second leading cause of cancer death. The causes of cancer are diverse, complex and only partially understood. The common perception, any abnormal growth, any abnormal uncontrolled growth is considered as cancer. That is the usual definition people are having. But that is not the right uh, definition for cancer. Similarly, cancer has got a multiple dimensions. <laughs> One of the dimensions of the cancer is it is an immunocompromised stage. Liver cancer is a lifestyle disease, meaning it involves much of human behavior and character that could accelerate the occurrence of the disease. Number two, there is a very mild association with the uh, cirrhosis of the liver and liver cancer. If you are indulged in alcoholism, if a person keep on drinking alcohol, uh, taking alcohol in a huge amounts, he will go on to fatty liver first, then he will go on to hepatitis, then he will go on to cirrhosis. And still if the cirrhosis, even, even he still continue with the same practice, then the cirrhotic liver can become cancerous. According to the World Health Organization, 8.2 million people worldwide died from cancer in 2012, as 60% of world's total new annual cases occur in Africa, Asia and Central and South America. Some of the risks that could generally cause cancer include... Our children are quite obese, and obesity is a risk factor for developing Cancers. The other risk factors I've mentioned, tobacco use, alcohol use, harmful use of alcohol. Cancer cells tend to be lodged at the liver, thus when one suffers from liver cancer, several tests are required to verify if the spread is either primary or secondary. Most of the liver tumors in liver are secondary from other cancers. Colon cancer has got a bad tendency to go to the liver. Stomach cancer, it has got a bad tendency to go to the Liver. There are, however, habits that one should avoid as they change their eating lifestyle. Sugar, the refined sugars, refined foods, we have to avoid them. But if you take fruits, plenty of fruits and vegetables, you reduce your chances of getting the cancer. And of course, if you have the cancer and you eat well, chances of your survival are higher. A human body calls for immune enhancement at all times to keep it ready to guard against harmful pathogens. Thus, it is important to know how to stay healthy. But certain things we can observe to prevent cancer. Number one is healthy diet. Then stay away from all the vices. Tobacco smoking, excessive alcohol intake, promiscuous behavior, multiple sexual partners. These are the things, right? Yeah. So stay healthy. Okay. Keep your body mass index within the prescribed limits. So find time to exercise. Find time to relax. Find time to meditate. These same sentiments and prevention methods are echoed by Dr. Joyce Nato. Fruits are very, very expensive. And yet fruits have got vitamins that can help people not get non-communicable diseases, including cancer. Not all tumors are cancerous. Benin tumors do not invade neighboring tissues or spread throughout the body, but liver cancer are malignant tumors that grow on the surface or inside the liver. As medical experts confirm and emphasize, it is vital and significant to adopt a healthy eating lifestyle in order to boost one's immune system. For Healthful Living, I'm Miriam Kanyugo.